Money in Me is proudly brought to you by NGS Super, a leading super fund for Aussie teachers. Money and Me with Busy the Bee. Busy wants a mobile. Amanda, fancy seeing you here in the park. Great day for a walk and a kick of the footy, isn't it? Hey, Price, it's great to see you. Hey, have you met my friend Busy? I don't think I have. Hi, Busy. How are you? Honestly, I'm unbelievably frustrated. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Why is that? Because I have the meanest mama bee in the world. All my friends have mobile phones and they're always messaging each other and laughing. Mama won't buy me a phone and I feel totally left out. Well, mobile phones are expensive, Busy. Maybe Mama B can't afford to buy one for you. She says I have to earn money and pay for it myself. But that's ridiculous. Mama and Papa B's money is in their phones. They tap the phone at the shops and then they get the stuff they want. So how can I buy a phone if I don't have a phone to tap and pay for it? Um, Busy, I think you might be confused about what money is is. It doesn't come from a phone. Oh, I know. It can come from one of those plastic cards too. But Mama says I'm not old enough for one of them. Uh, sorry Busy. That's not where money comes from either. I think we're going to have to start at the beginning. We probably need to make you financially literate. Financially licorice? Not licorice, Busy. Literate. You know how Squizzy the Newshound helps us become media literate? <laughs> Meaning that we understand who makes the media, why they make it, what messages they're trying to send and how we need to stop and think and check before we believe something. Yeah, Squizzy's possum. Well, financial literacy is similar. Literacy means that you understand something and ask questions about it to extend your understanding. And financial means relating to or involving money. But I don't know what money is. Ugh. This is the most frustrating day ever. I've got an idea, Busy. Let's jump into the Squiz Kids time machine and go back, ah. way back, to a time before there was money. Good idea. Wow. We've gone back 8,000 years to Baghdad. In the 21st century, we'll know this place as the capital of Iraq. Yeah, that's right. But in these times, Baghdad is in a place that's called Mesopotamia. And it's in Mesopotamia that the wheel is invented, cursive writing is invented, it's where maths, astronomy and agriculture are developed. Wow, Mesopotamia has everything. Well, not exactly. And Busy, that's why we're here. The Mesopotamians want to get some things that are hard to find in their country. Look, we'll be able to see them trading for it now. Do you see that man who's dressed differently to the others here? The one with all the carved wood? Yeah, he's travelled here from the area we know now as Lebanon. Good hard wood grows well there, but not here in Baghdad. So he's bringing wood to swap for things that the Mesopotamians have a lot of, like woven fabrics. So when you say swap, there's no money involved, right? No, instead they have to come to an agreement. How much fabric the Mesopotamian trader is willing to swap for a certain amount of wood. And that's called bartering, right? Exactly right. You trade something you have for something they might want. That's perfect. I know. I'll barter. Everyone needs honey in their kitchen. I'll swap honey for a phone. Sorry, Busy, but I don't think those big phone technology companies want to be paid in honey. They want money. I mean, they rhyme, but they're pretty different. Well, you still haven't explained what money is. This really is a frustrating day. Let's fire up the time machine one more time and go to the place where money is thought to have been invented. Hmm, where are we now? A place called Lydia? Yeah, that's right. It's the 7th century BCE and we're in the western part of what we now call Turkey. The Lydians are thought to have been the first civilization to invent metal coins and set up permanent shops. 
Obviously not for mobile phones yet busy, but the system was the same. <laughs> Someone does some work for you. Some of the first people to earn coins were actually soldiers. And you give them the coins in return for the work and they can then use those coins in the shops to buy the things that they need. And Amanda, tell Busy what those coins looked like. Oh, they were pretty cool, actually, Busy. They were made from a gold-coloured metal called Electrum. Cool. And they were stamped with the Lydian Lion, which was a Whoa. symbol of the king. And, of course, our coins today still have our king or queen on the head side of them. Yeah, that's right. Now, as you can imagine, eventually it would get quite heavy carrying around a whole lot of coins. And that's how we get to the production of paper money or banknotes. And let me guess, the Chinese invented paper, so I think they probably had the first banknotes? Yep, well done. Exactly right. When they were first used, banknotes were thought of as a kind of promise on paper. Ah. So you'd swap the note for the same value in coins. But over time, societies have come to agree on the value of those notes. So in Australia, for example, the purple one is worth $5, even though the material that the note is printed on is not worth $5. Oh, I've got coloured paper at home. I'll just print some money and then buy my mobile. Finally, we figured it out. Um, sorry, Busy. It's illegal for anyone but the government to make money. Aww. Bank notes are made in Australia by the Reserve Bank in Sydney and the Royal Australian Mint in Perth makes the coins. OK, fine. Let's just take the time machine to Sydney and I can ask the bank to give me money for my phone. Ah, uh, no can do, Busy. Remember, Mama B said that you had to earn money. It's the same for everyone. Ugh, silly stingers. This is complicated. So how do people earn money? Great question. Well, the way that most people make money is by getting a job. And Busy, before you say anything, I know that you're only a kid and you go to school. So you can't get a job like grown-ups do, but there are quite a few ways for kids to make money too. But before you start earning money, you should probably know about budgeting, Busy. Ugh, I just want a phone! It's okay. Let's take a break, Busy. We can talk about budgeting next time. This special Squiz Kids series is proudly brought to you by NGS Super, the leading super fund for teachers in independent education. These episodes are edited and engineered by Carter Quinn.